Hello and welcome back to Zigzag Base. This is episode 14 of our Queer Colony. Let's go see how they're doing. So here are our colonists on a very rainy night. We have quite a few colonists at the moment. Not all of them are ours. Some of them are refugees. And we also have a bunch of prisoners. So let's do a quick recap of who all these folks are on our very busy zigzag base. We have Gracie and Jewel who are married to each other. Gracie is lesbian and Jewel is bisexual. We have Quinn who is gay. He's still single so far. Hopefully not for too much longer. He was one of our original three colonists. We have Libertad or Lieb who came Came out as trans when she first arrived. We have Zach who came out as pansexual uh, which wasn't an option in RimWorld so we had to go with bi as a trait. We have Tona. They are gender non-binary and hopefully I will not misgender them this episode. I have to remind myself every time. Uh, Glasses and Wheeler are so far just stopping through. They're just refugees visiting. And finally, most excitingly, we have Brianna, who is a brand new member. She came to visit last episode and was recruited to the colony. Brianna came out as trans and is now female with she, her pronouns, and is also demisexual. So also we don't have that in RimWorld, so we had to go with Ace as a trait for Brie as well. Oh, some of our animals have a plague. That sucks. Uh, here's our prison. Let's take a look at who is all here. We have Zorro. Uh, she's the only one who's like an actual prisoner of ours. And I forgot to click recruit for oh, probably the better part of at least one episode, possibly two. So uh, we're a little bit behind on our recruiting. But as you can see, Quinn is working away at it. We also have Morgan and Calion, and they are, is it a quest? It's a quest, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, here, here it is, Warden for Hire. So we're just watching these prisoners for um, a duchess from the refugee empire, and they have nine days left um, to be taken care of. But we're not gonna try to recruit them, we're just, you know, taking care of them just for the quest. So that is pretty much it. We also just had some visitors arrive. How many are there? There are two people who have just arrived to come and hang out in our new and improved guest room. Um, so it's a very, very busy base, but I think things are going relatively well. Fingers crossed we will have a successful episode. We have finished researching our harp, which will help us complete a throne room and allow Jewel to grab all those noble titles that have been stacking up. Uh, what would we like to research next? Oh no, a couple of people are fighting. I think it's one of our guests and one of our refugees. That kind of sucks. Let's maybe... Um, our power is doing okay, actually. We could use some mortars. Yeah, let's get back to this in case um, someone decides to siege us. Oh dear, Gracie's helping out this person that got hurt. What about glasses? Glasses has been patched up as well. Oh, and we don't really have an official med bay. Let's make these medical for now in case they want to rest there. Our beds are very full. Let's try to finish this room and get it ready for one of the colonists. Combat supplier. Oh, and it's a ship. How cool is that? Okay, I'm gonna slow things down. Who has really good social skills? Quinn does. Tona, no, not, not too bad. Why does Tona have such a high priority? Wheeler, no. Okay, so Quinn, we're gonna get you going. Oh, how come it has no power right now? That's weird, it picked it up. Maybe because the comms console is active, but we need the beacon to be able to sell things in this area. We also need to have silver in this area to be able to buy things. Whoops, uh, I'm gonna see how quickly I can set that up to be able to trade. 
All right, Quinn has hooked up the power to the trade beacon. We can do some trading. I think I'd like to grab some extra components. We don't have fabrication yet. That's not too, too expensive. We can sell a bunch of our crappy knives and other weapons, bows, things like that. I'm glad I put them in the area. I don't think I have too, too much else in the area. A bit of clothes. Uh, we can't sell our cats. <laughs> Hopefully next time a trader comes wandering by in person. Uh, there are a few decent weapons. Hmm. That might be worth buying a couple. Equip our new colonists. Maybe I will take a heavy SMG. Mm. Ooh, Masterwork Auto Pistol is only 400 bucks. Do we have enough? Not quite. Maybe I'll go grab a bit more silver or something else of value and try to buy this auto pistol as well. But other than that, I think we are good. Awesome. Bree is in the pepper patch playing her guitar. Bree is making music for everyone near and far. Uh oh, now she's done. She's gonna go research. Bye bye, Bree. Thank you for the music. Aww, the visitors from Land Shout did not really enjoy their stay. They only gave us a score of 19. Actually, you know what? That's not surprising because this guy got into a fight. Also, what the heck is he wearing? Are those overalls? Tank top and pants. Oh, it's because it's an apron. Look at th th that looks kind of weird, eh? Because it's like tied around the back. Also, he's like got blood because he was injured. It, it just looks like someone, someone like stabbed him in the low back. <laughs> um, yeah, Chief, thanks for that. That kind of sucked. Did you start the fight? Was it glasses or was it you? Let me see. Oof. Oh my god. Yeah, you flagrant, flagrantly disrespected Glasses' cooking skill. Drove her into a rage. Oh, she began the fight. You insulted her, so you started it. So, like, no wonder you didn't enjoy your stay. How is that my problem? I'm annoyed. Bye-bye. See you later. Good riddance. Amazing. We have managed to haul a whole bunch of beer because uh, we didn't have quite enough silver to buy the Masterwork mini pistol. Um, auto pistol? Auto pistol. There it is. So, let's sell all of our beer. Or most... Oh! <laughs> Wow, oh my god, look at that. We've been hard at work making beer. See, this is why like, I like making stuff, even though it's you know not great to have on handy and people can get addicted to it and whatever. Like, that's a lot of money. Um, okay, let's like treat everyone to new weapons. At this rate, we can buy like almost everything. Um, let's buy the pistol, a good shotgun, these ones aren't really good. LMG is kind of messy, but it's better than like a pump shotgun or it's definitely better than a short bow. Some of our people still have short bows. We are not that advanced yet. Um, so that's one, two, three. Maybe take another couple. We can take a normal shotgun. Bree just traded a poor quality shotgun for a normal one. So I think like, yeah, two or three people have like decent weapons. This will be four more. We only have seven. Is there one more weapon that's decent? We may have one person that can't um, fight. Maybe it's against their traits or whatever. Let's just buy these four and then let's take a look. We'll leave it paused so that Quinn is handy. So let's take a look at everyone's weapons. Yeah, you still have a bolt action rifle. Let's quickly unpause for a second and let those pods arrive. Nice, look at that. Oh, and money, we made some money too. Okay, Bree now has a normal weapon. Gracie, you still have like a revolver. You definitely deserve a very good weapon. Maybe let's give you the master. Yeah, we definitely want you protected. You're our doctor, so you need a really good weapon. Quinn, you have very good shooting skills. Maybe we should 
Maybe we should give you the LMG and maybe it might not make as much of a mess with you. Jewel, I gave the other weapon I just bought, the heavy SMG that I was able to buy. Leave, you still have a bow and arrow, so let's give you a good shotgun. Wait, who's our hunter? We don't want to give them the wrong weapon. Quinn, Jewel, Tona. Okay, Bree is like now our hunter. What did we just give you? A normal rifle. Rifles are good for hunting. Okay, perfect. Where was I? Leave is getting the good shotgun. Zach, I gave a bolt action rifle. Tona has a revolver. Excellent. That's not bad. Okay. So we, yeah, we might want to give someone a normal pump shotgun, but otherwise we're pretty good. Honestly, revolver is not that bad. Um, yeah, yeah. Okay. I think we're good. Um, I don't think we'll buy anything else. We might as well just, um, keep this extra silver. We have another visitor. Let's go see who it is. Oh, just one person. Oh, from Toxo Union. So we really want to impress this guy because we don't have as good a relationship. So let's try to make friends with him, even if we don't want to recruit him. And we don't because he's lazy, has a chemical interest, and is a psychopath. Wow, that's a bad combination. Um, okay, but we're still going to be super, super kind and friendly to you, Locust, because... Um, your union does not like us that much. In fact, we are still in the negative. We want to impress you and bring that back up. All our refugees are heading off by Wheeler and Glasses. Our betrayal offer has been retracted, which is fine. We didn't want to kill anyone. Hopefully they will send us a gift once they are settled in their own place. Our harp is complete. Thank you, Gracie. We're gonna stick that into the throne room and accept some ceremonies for Jewel because otherwise it's pretty much ready. Is that a high enough skill? 66. We might have to clean it up and maybe repair some walls, but otherwise it's pretty much ready. Quest complete. Oh, hopeless survivors. Was that the refugees? Yeah, I guess they had to leave the map. Interesting. Okay, so what else is active? Oh, we're still protecting this building that we built. We've got the usual shift to the stars. And we're still looking after those prisoners. Um, and hopefully we'll be able to accept this soon. Ooh, we have to get the room up quite a bit more impressive. And we need to make the room just a little bit bigger. And install the harp, of course. But um, if we can do that in the next 1.1 day, we can accept this. Oh, although <laughs> looks like we're going to be busy with a raid. And they're attacking immediately. Lovely. Okay. Ooh, unusually clever. Avoid turrets, fields of fire. Not like we have any turrets. Not like we even have a wall. We're kind of behind. Um, okay, but at least they're from a tribal um, tribe. But they're not, like, advanced people of mana. They are the greens. Okay. Let's take a look at who we have. Choco, male, age 41, underground, quick sleeper, sanguine. Yeah, um, okay. He might be worth taking prisoner. Lobster, abrasive and tough, might be worth taking prisoner. Good cook. She's good at plants. All right, and what about Sile? Better, misogynist, meh, kind, that's good. Male 52. Okay, no health problems. Anyone else on the map? Let's make sure it's just these three. Okay, let's get ready for them. They're down here. They're probably going to head up this way. Hey, that's handy. We have our little, um, you know, walls and uh, sandbags in this area. That should help out a lot. And we have new weapons. Actually, yeah. This should be pretty easy, honestly. We have, like, really kick-butt weapons. Um, bad guys, you're going the wrong way. <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, darn. They're heading this way. We're gonna have to, like, move over a little bit. 
That sucks. Okay, here they come. Bree is ready for them. Zach is ready for them. Everyone else is heading over to kind of hide in the trees. We don't have sandbags and walls, but hopefully it'll be enough cover, especially with our amazing, awesome weapons. Uh, I do have run and gun, so maybe I'm going to send them back a little bit. Tona, you as well. Everyone else is headed up here. Okay, Sayo is down. Choco is headed over here. I'm going to send our animals inside. Uh, pets. Oh, yeah, they've got this whole area. Actually, I'm going to create... Okay, I created an area up here for the other animals. You may have noticed them walking over here to safety. So, I think that's like an inside. Whoops. Let's make a, like, pets inside area. And just have them stay in their little this area and this area that has the food which I am going to connect sometime soon I've had people um, chipping away at the stone okay and let's send them there animals are gone go on to safety let's send the pets to safety hopefully that will divert Choco's path I'm also going to spread out these guys it's not a very effective formation it's one thing I like about the new version, version 1.3. They've got some cool stuff that you can do to spread out your people with kind of one click without doing them all individually. Nice. Yeah, Choco is definitely going for the animals. Okay, what are you doing now? Choco, come back. Now they're fleeing. Okay, um, were you one of the ones that was might take prisoner yeah you're actually decent let's send some people after you that are not likely to hurt you so not you guys you have kick butt weapons leave tona brie brie let's maybe send you back to do some research or you know eat some soup i don't know if we'll catch up with uh choco but we can try Especially if they head, oh no, they're headed right for the corner. Yeah, bummer, Ah, You would have been a good member, Choco. Well, what are you doing now? Are you going up to the top? Or are you gonna, yeah, no, you're heading off. Okay, all right, well, that was really great. I think that was a very good raid. We were successful. Um, now we better deal with these uh, dead bodies. Ooh, a wild man has wandered in. Aurelius, we can tame him or arrest him. Uh, oh, he's 95 years old. Are you kidding me? Oh dear, he's uh, quite the elderly person. Imperial priest, but he's incapable of carrying. He's incapable of carrying. Uh, he might not have been a very good priest then. <laughs> I mean, his skills are okay. Let's check his health, because, yeah, he's already frail. He already has a bad back. But, yeah, I don't know what to do, because he's just going to, like, wander around the map. Um, he, uh, I don't know, man. He might not be okay on his own. Oh, hey, awesome. Oh, good, the guy from Toxu Union enjoyed his stay. That's great. 62. Is that going to improve our... Okay, it improved it by three, so that's good. I don't know to, what to do with this Aurelius dude. Um, oh, he's yeah, he's already wandering close to the base. He's gonna start like eating our food in our fields. But I think if we, they basically, oh, he can harvest trees and bushes. Okay, so he might be okay on his own to like just eat, oh, eat wild food. He's, he's botched his harvest. <laughs> Okay, he's, he can just eat some berries. Okay, I think I'm just going to live and let live and hope that he doesn't interfere with our colony and hopefully we won't need to do anything. A tamer is pa passing by. Geza Nat. That's too cute. Why don't you take this old man, please? Take my old man, please. 
Uh, we got a quest come in, an awesome construction. I love that, awesome is one of my favorite words. Um, 14 by five, yeah, sure. Oh wait, it's for these guys? Ha! Huh. Um, yeah, no, I don't, eh, I don't think so. I don't think that's worth it. We don't want to be friends with those guys. Um, Quinn, can you finish our... Ooh, did our quest expire for the room? Oops, wrong button. I was trying to get it ready, but it was just not... It was taking so long. Yeah, it, it just expired. We had to expand the room because it wasn't quite big enough. So even though, like, we got the harp in, you know, it was in much nicer shape, uh, we have to expand it and repair all these walls. And repairing walls takes a long time, so... Uh, we're gonna have to keep working on it. We're gonna have to wait even longer for for Jewel to become a what is it dame? She's gotten really high up there. She's got thirty five. So yeah, she, she could be a praetor. Holy cow! Oh my goodness. We had better um, we had better get this fixed up. Oh, someone's playing music. Bree, Bree is playing the harp. It's such lovely music. Quinn, did you enjoy it? Combat supplier. They're a caravan. Okay, so maybe they'll buy some animals. I don't know. Quinn just went to bed. Who else had good social skills? Anybody? Anybody? Gracie, are you busy? Oh, I was going to say, you're awake. Nope, she's having cuddle heart time with her wife. How cute. And now they're back to sleep. No wonder they're the greenest of them all, because they are the happiest. Nothing like love to improve your mood. Okay, well, Quinn... Oh, interesting. Quinn has been flirting with Zach. How cute is that? That would be a really adorable couple. Oh my goodness. Cross your fingers and toes, guys. Okay, Quinn's going to have a shower, take care of the prisoners, and then why don't you come up and do some trading? Quinn, thank you. How many days left? 4.2 days left with these borrowed prisoners. Where's Zoro at? Zoro is at 12.6. Okay, Quinn is making good work uh, with the recruitment efforts for Zoro. She is very good at animals. She will make a good addition to the colony. Let us do some trading. We have some more drugs to sell and we have ambrosia to sell because it's in our fridge. We couldn't sell it to the trade ship because it needs to be refrigerated and we can't keep it in the storage workshopy room uh, with the trade beacon. I look at this 10 bucks each. So that's like $3,000. That's bananas. That is so much money. And their combat. I hope they have good weapons, not just... Oh. oh, they have a chain shotgun. That's a pretty advanced one. They have a good bolt action rifle. Oh no, that's ours. Oh, why is it only 43 bucks? Hmm. Because we're selling it. They have armor. I'm really awful with armor. I like never make armor. And I really, really should. And then I'm all like sad when my people get hurt. I'm like, <laughs> when <laughs> they got a bullet in their arm, I did nothing to protect them from that. Um, do we, uh, I don't know. Do we want to buy a few shells? Because it might take us some time to make some. Definitely afford it. Let's buy. Oh no, we don't need those. This we have a couple. We're good. Six of those. Um, tech print, mm, that we could use our money. I, d I definitely don't want to have a lot of money because, you know, people come and steal stuff. Let's sell some weapons we definitely don't need, like clubs. If we need any of those. Anything else good? Change after Smoke launcher, I don't think we need. Armor is like super expensive. We get this helmet. We get these two helmets. 
that would be a good way to spend our money. Yeah, I think I like that. And I think what I will do then is maybe only sell 200 of those. Yeah, and then we have a thousand bucks. And then hopefully we can sell more stuff another time. Maybe I'll keep that because um, if it's a trade beacon, we can sell it more easily. There, let's have a pretty even trade. We'll keep a little bit of money and not go too much over. Let's do, if we did like that, that's maybe a bit too much. Let's do that. Okay, let's like, you know, 1500 and a bit and change. Okay, let's do it. Great. Amazing. Thank you, Quinn. Thank you, people. Um, looks like we're almost done researching mortars, so that'll be good. We'll have shells right away. Um, we'll find a spot to put them. Maybe here, in the square. That'll be good. Yeah. Okay, awesome. Research is finished on our mortars. Let's see what we want to do next. Ooh, maybe drug production? Devil Strand? Instruments? Geothermal power? That might be a good one, especially because it takes a long time. And let's also build a mortar. Ooh, an eclipse! It's only five o'clock and it's already dark. Um, good thing we're researching the power. We may need to use our batteries because our solar generators will not work in the eclipse. A psychic soothe. Yeah, sure. I'll take that. Maybe it'll help Quinn and Zach with their uh, flirting efforts. It's been a while. Hopefully they'll continue. I think they'd make a really cute couple. Zach is trying to romance Jewel. She's married, dude. Her wife is awesome. She's not going to get with you. He's still trying to... Oh, Zach, Zach, when will you learn? Gracie has an inspired recruitment. She's not usually our warden. But I think that would be cool if we could get her to convince Zoro to join us. Um, do we need to assign her? She's assigned to wardening. Hmm. Okay, we can't like send her to go do it, but maybe if we increase her wardening priority, she will give it a try. The eclipse is ending, yay. That didn't last very long at all. And our power seems fine. We didn't even use our batteries very much. Oh, we should turn this off though. <laughs> we don't need our wood fire generator, duh. Hey, Gracie is here. Remember Gigi's sister? I was talking about the siblings another time. Actually, no, it was Jewel's sister that was here another time. So this is Gracie's sister, Gigi, who also has very cool hair. She is also quite skilled. She is ace. She is 57. Oh, and she's from the Toxo Union. They're the guys we really want to impress. So let's try to make friends with them. And hopefully they will have a favorable impression after their visit. I didn't know you could relax socially, like, around a harp. Like, nobody's playing the harp. They're just relaxing around it. I don't know if that only happens if someone used to be playing for it and people are left over and they just continue hanging out, but it, it does seem a little strange. Ooh, some cargo pods have arrived. Sure, I'll take free stuff. Qu'est-ce que c'est? guinea pig fur. I mean, whatever. It's not super helpful, but might as well. Once everyone wakes up, I will have someone bring it back to the base. Also, apologies for the barking dog. Something seems to be going on in our general backyard area. Oh, 
Oh, hey, awesome. I think it worked because Gracie is no longer expired and we have a new recruit at the same time. Where are you? You walked away. I am willing to bet that Gracie was the one who recruited Zoro because she still had about like four to five left. Uh, and usually they'll let you know when it gets to zero. All right, so let's meet Zoro, our newest member. How exciting. She is 40. She is really good with animals. She's a decent soldier, good at construction. Oh, amazing. I've been wanting someone to help Quinn build stuff since like episode one. We have really needed someone's help. So that'll be great. I will definitely be putting her on construction. Um, not too many health problems, a little bit of pain from her left arm. Uh, her nose was shot off, so poor Zoro. Um, Zoro, do you want to keep your name? What is your full name? Zoro Mamabor. I guess we'll keep Zoro. That's cool. Oh, or how about as a nickname, Zo? Do you want to be Zo, like Zoe or Zozo, something like that would be cute. All right, and let's have her hang around a little and see if she comes out to the group uh, now that she has been welcomed into their accepting colony. All right, Zoe is all set clothing wise. Look how styling she looks. She's got a fur cowboy hat, a fur t-shirt, elephant leather jacket, some gloves, and boots, which is amazing. And since she and Gracie are hanging out together in the sewing room, Zoe says, thank you, Gracie, for recruiting me. You were so nice. I, it just happened early for me, so I was really happy about that. And since I notice everyone around here is queer, how strange is that? I just felt like, oh, I wanted to come out too. You guys are so open and accepting. But you know, I'm not really sure of my identity. You know, I feel like I need some time to figure it out. But you know, I know that I'm not heterosexual. So I'm just going to identify as queer and leave it at that. So there we go, our latest member Zoe has come out as just queer in general, which is totally, totally cool. That's how I identify as well. Uh, there's so many labels flying around these days that uh, sometimes that just works. And if it's complicated and you don't feel like explaining it to people, sometimes that just works to be able to say, hey, I'm queer. And then people can ask you if they want more information. And if you feel like telling them, awesome. And if not, that's fine too. So I like it. I think it's a cool way to just keep it simple. We have a new quest. I'm just gonna finish what I'm doing so that I don't forget because that is something that I do a lot. I made this shelf to keep our drugs handy to our trade beacon. Um, and I did uh, remember to not have the pets go in the area with drugs, which is good. Let's take a look at this quest. Petrona's Shack of Goodies. That sounds promising. Ooh, Hyperweave, nice. Collection of valuable items worth 720 silver, not too far. Let's see how far it is. There may be an unknown threat. Um, I don't know if I, if that constitutes not too far, but that to me seems a little bit far. How far is it? 5.8 days. Wow. Um, that's quite the distance. <clears throat> I don't know. I'm going to give that some thought because that's quite the quest and we are heading into winter. So although animals can graze now, if we, you know, say brought a couple of alpacas with us to carry stuff. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if that's worth it. I do like quests. I do like traveling around, but it's, it is kind of far. I'll think about it. I'll let you know. <laughs> Uh oh, seems like we've got, oh, it's a prison break. Oh no, and it's our guys that we're like guest prisoner looking after. Darn, I'm glad Zoe is, has, was recruited early. That is so lucky, because she was only down to like four or five, so she would have definitely been included. So thank you, Gracie, for being inspired. Um, these two only had 1.7 days left. I mean, they still do, 
if if we kill them though the quest is like toast and all of that work has been for nothing let's try to capture them again put them back in their prison where they belong and not kill them uh, which means we will be choosing our colonists very carefully especially with regards to weapons we don't want anything too powerful Lieb might be a good choice because the um, pump shotgun is less powerful than a lot of these brand new weapons that we have, like the LMGs and SMGs and the chain shotgun <laughs> that I gave Zoe. Um, yeah, that's pretty, yeah, pretty dangerous. Okay, Tona only has a revolver and they're close by, so I think we should definitely send Tona down. At least the prisoner's like at the end of this whole hallway, so it does make it a bit easy to, you know, handle a prison break. I kind of like how that worked out. I didn't like plan it necessarily for that reason, but it works out. Um, what about Brianna? Brianna has a rifle. That is probably a good choice as well. So let's have Brianna come here. And do we want a third person? What does Zach have? Zach has a rifle as well. Let's, yeah, let's draft Zach. We'll let him put this away. We'll keep him handy and we'll see if they bust out like this way or that way. Because if it is this way, we'll want Zach to deal with them and then possibly leave and jewel since they're up there if they get through a second door. Um, okay, let's do this and see what direction they go in. Uh oh, okay, it looks like they're moving up that way. So, where's Bree? Ooh, that's quite far to head around. Okay, we'll send Bree to here. We'll see how long that takes. Zach is close by. He doesn't have a secondary weapon, though. I'm gonna have him wait behind the door, because then if they bust the door, he can go this way to the end of the hallway. If they continue this way to try to get this door, he can come kind of behind them. And we'll keep an eye on Jewel and Leap to make sure that A, they don't go through a door, and B, they're staying handy in case we want to recruit them. We'll, we'll allow Jewel to head over this way because she's got kind of a really powerful weapon that we don't want to involve necessarily. Uh, Tona is over here. I'm actually going to have Tona come around from this direction. Uh, I think I won't worry about the pets. We'll, we'll keep an eye on Nigel just to make sure he's not going to get tangled up in the, uh, the action. Okay, they are indeed heading up. Maybe they're going to try to destroy the cooler or something. So let's have Zach kind of sneak in behind them. And we'll have Bree come right behind him. Quinn and Gracie, what are you guys up to? You're accessing food. That's fine. That is okay. Oh, Oh yeah, when they have a prison break, they just go through the doors. I forgot about that. I was like thinking about, you know, when they bust down the doors, but that's different. Uh, Lieb doesn't quite reach them from that range, so we'll move her a bit closer. Tona will allow to come up into the room. Okay, cross fingers and toes that they get captured, but not hurt. Or they can get hurt, but not killed. Hopefully not hurt, but yeah. Not killed is the important part. Ooh, this guy's coming down to try to attack Zack. Does anyone have any melee weapons? Tona does. Tona, you can melee attack. Zack, I'm gonna keep sending you moving. Leave, you're in charge of Morgan. If she comes out of your range, you can move. Ooh, dear, okay. Our people are getting hurt, but it looks like Kaloon is hurt. Can you just, can I, I can't capture them yet. I have to like down them before I capture them. Zach is moving. That's good, you keep on going. Let her get away though, guys. We wanna finish this quest. We've put a lot of time and effort into this. Tona may need some help, cause she, or they are getting injured, sorry Tona. Um, who is nearby? Jewel is over here. Zoe is over here. We might want to get Zoe involved. Let's get Zoe up here. 
then she can shoot, but it won't be that closely and hopefully won't hurt her. Quinn and Gracie. Yeah, maybe I'll get Gracie to come over and help with Kaloon because, you know, we don't want Tona to get hurt. Oh, darn. And it wasn't even Zoe, I don't think. I think it was Lieb. Let's check her log. Yeah, she like shot at her and missed and then got her again and she died. Shoot. Um, okay. That sucks. We had that quest for a really long time. Refugee Empire. At least they were pretty happy with us before. So minus five isn't going to harm us too much relationship wise. Um, Zoe, why don't you leave and do your thing? Leave. You were kind of working in the garden. So keep doing that. Zach, I'm going to maybe keep on standby. Zach. And Bree, were you heading back in? Head back, yeah, head back in and help out. Okay. I don't know if it's even worth it. I mean, maybe when we capture them, they just become ours because the quest is already over. I don't know how that works. Maybe if we like, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it'll help us with the relations if we have one person still to complete the quest. Although I kind of think like the quest is over. Um, yeah, it's not listed anymore on active. It's, it's here. It's like a fail. We failed the quest. So I think that means we keep Kaloon. We could. She's 81. Oh, and chemical interest. Oh my God. Do we even want to bother? <sighs> No, you know what? I'm sorry, Kaloon. You are not valuable enough to our colony and you have a lot of issues. So I hate to say it, but you are going to be left to suffer the conse consequences of trying to escape. Sad to say. Um, let's make sure no one else picks her up and takes her to the prison. I will keep an eye. Bree has decided to go for a walk for her recreation and she decided to walk right near this dying prisoner on the floor. But it's not yet a corpse, so they are not getting a mood debuff uh, walking by this unconscious, injured, escaped prisoner. Oh no! Um... What is happening with so? Is this glitch? Is this is this a glitch? What the heck? Um It says that she's naked, but she's not. She wore a bunch of stuff. And it says the my brother orange and my friend orange died. Okay, I think she had that before when she was a prisoner. Yeah, because I remember poking fun at that, because is it the same person or not? Um, you are not naked, Zoe. You are wearing... Oh, it's because you're not wearing any pants. She's wearing, like, everything except pants. Um, Gracie, where are you? Can you can you come and make some pants? Why don't we have any pants? We have, like, everything else under the sun. Pants. Pants are here. We apparently have pants. Where are said pants located? She could wear the military uniform, because that includes like a top and bottoms. But it says we have pants. Um, and I think it's set to make pants unless, until we have, you know, a good pair of pants. Let's check the, the recipe. Oh, it says any quality. That's why they're not making them, because I forgot. Because most of them, I set the pattern. Oh, not for bedding. Most of them, I set the pattern to say it can't be old and it can't be crappy. Everything else is set except for pants, which is like the most important thing. I'm going to have Zoe put on this uniform, even though it's only 50%. Um, but hopefully by then, uh, we will have some pants. Gracie, I'm going to call you back from your walk 
to make some pants. Okay, that's a little bit better. We've at least fixed the naked. Um, undergrounder, okay, she doesn't mind the dark. Maybe let's give her a nicer room. Maybe one of these bedrooms. Uh, Quinn's pretty happy. Leave is pretty happy. Leave has been green. So I think we're gonna let Zoe have a turn. Unassign, as cute as that would be. Oh, and I had better change Zoe's um, character now that she's come out as queer. Also, again, you know, it's not, they don't have that option. So I think the, the closest option would be bisexual because um, Zoe knows that she's not straight. But beyond that, she's just, yeah, kind of generally queer. So let's do that. Oh man, Gracie's first pair of pants that she made is poor quality. So she's gonna try again. Meanwhile, Zoe has been eating and having a shower, but her clothes are still at 50% for now. So I think she's still in an okay mood. Yes, we have a normal pair of pants this time. Okay, Gracie, you can go to bed. Zoe is on her way to bed, so maybe what I'll do is clear the outfit, clear the forest, and then when it becomes tattered, it um, she'll automatically go and put on the new pair of pants. Uh, I will check and make sure nobody else needs pants so that no one else steals it from her. Also, I was checking Tona to make sure that she was tended or... Oh my gosh, Tona, I'm so sorry. I keep misgendering you. I was checking Tona to make sure that they were tended and they were, so we are good. And it looks like our prisoner is now dead. So I will send one of the green happier people. I will send Jewel to bury her. We already had Zoe make some graves over here for Morgan and Kaloon. Oh! Looks like someone has buried Morgan. Perfect, so I will have Jewel bury Kaloon because we don't want anyone else to get a mood debuff, um, especially if it was Zoe because she's already in a not so great mood. So we will take care of that and that will be it for the prisoners. Our prison will be empty for the first time in quite a long time. All right, after all that excitement, we are going to leave things here. Welcome to our colony, Zoe. We are so happy to have you. Thanks everyone for watching. Big queer mom hugs going out to anyone who needs them. Hope to see you later this week for another Ideology and 1.3 episode on Thursday. And hope to see you next weekend for episode 14 of this queer colony. Take care. Bye-bye.